Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. And you talk about excitement. Our next guests really are delivering excitement here at IDF. Uh, they're integrating advanced motion control with high-speed sensors. Well, in simpler terms, they build robots. <laughs> they do fun things. And you have got to check out the separate video. It's like three and a half minutes that we have posted at intotomorrow.com and see what I'm talking about. And also they're part of the highlight video for IDF as well. First of all, the mechanical engineer and co-founder of Sisu Devices is Russ Aldridge. Welcome into tomorrow, Russ. Thank you, Dave. And with him, Drew Poole is the product marketing engineer of Intel Embedded and Communications Group. Hey, Drew, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. First of all, you've got to tell me about Intel's industrial control in concert. And it's sort of a play on words that works very well. <laughs> tell us about it real quick, what you're showing, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Yeah, you bet. It all starts from a couple of years ago. There was a video from a company called Anna Music, and they yeah. do these they do these tremendous music videos, and it's all computer generated. And they have one in particular called Pipe Dream, and it has these uh, different nozzles and pipes that shoot uh, shoot balls out to hit these instruments, and uh, it plays a song. Uh, it shoots drums and, and a vibraphone, uh, xylophone, bells, different things. And when I first saw this a long time ago, uh, maybe every engineer that saw this uh, has had this thought, but uh, so what if somebody actually built this one day? And so that's kind of the premise of the whole thing. What if somebody built it? And, and we did. We built uh, every single piece of it, uh, every note. And uh, and it's all built in the real world using sensors and, and air solenoids, uh, a lot of pneumatics. So uh, pretty exciting. And a whole bunch of atom processors as well, right? That's right. Uh, that's so where Drew comes into the picture, too. That's where I too. come in, yeah. <laughs> so there are actually a total of seven atom processors um, involved in the demo. And there's actually one in particular in the middle that controls most of the industrial IOs, which involve um, shooting the different balls onto the different instruments and actually creating the sound. And then there's also, you know, um, uh, an atom in the touchscreen and the human machine interface, and then there's a digital sign and a smart camera, and there's just there's atoms all over the place. There are. And in fact, uh, for those just listening on the radio at the moment, haven't seen the video, perhaps, yeah. uh, imagine uh, malted milk ball size, uh, like vanilla milk balls, if you will. Yeah. And there's uh, how many balls are there in this in this display? Uh, you know what? There's about 2,300 notes oh that are played, and so gosh. that many shoot out. But uh, just to have enough volume to do all that, we probably have about 6,000 in there. Oh, my gosh. But so I yes. wouldn't need them. Yeah, of course. And, and then after every performance every half hour, you're collecting them and actually reinstalling the balls, if you will, That's right. uh, for the yeah. next performance. But it is truly fascinating. And, and for those who saw this Pipe Dream animation video, uh, it, it you know it certainly went viral and people were sharing it and saying, oh, look how cool this is. What if? Wow. You know, too bad it's just a cartoon kind of thing. It's just mm -hmm. animation. But you actually brought it to life. And, and how long did it take you from concept to delivery here to make this work? Yeah, concept to uh, actually having a finished product on the floor was about 90 days. Really? Yeah. I'm thinking you're going to tell me those couple of years but to make it happen. But you guys, I mean, that's that that's the whole idea of, I guess, good processing power. It's like we can make this work, and, and these things are going to do the job, and voila. Yeah, pretty much. And also, uh, you know, we were kind of given this opportunity three months ago, so we were like, well, wait, let's see if we can make it happen. And we did. So. Well, how do you uh, take this demo and, and bring it to the real world now? Because especially since you're calling it Intel's industrial control in concert, makes me kind of think that there might be a business connection of some sort. Not that a business is going to toss 2,300 balls around their factory or whatever, but how might it actually help in the real world? other than being very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. There's a lot of things, you know, of course nobody's going to build this in, you know, in their garage or in their business for real, but uh, uh, there's a lot of things you can look at and say, that is something I want to do in my business. Uh, one of those is digital signage, one thing that the Atom's doing, uh, sound processing, uh, motion control, different I.O., industrial uh, automation, all of that's part of the demo, even uh, security cameras, and, the, and that's what the, the Atom specializes in, and so it's kind of a perfect fit to bring all those together. Yeah. And actually, also, kind of cool about that, um, all the parts used are actually off the shelf, so anybody, any developer can actually go out and buy all these pieces and you know, put together something like this, and really you're only limited by your creativity. Well, that's a good point. So you, re you could inspire with others that might see this video, for example, that we shot here, oh, yeah. and in, in addition to others, that, that can be inspired to do something on their own similarly, yet different enough to make it their own creation, and, and be able to sit back and say, wow, I actually did that. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it can be done. It can be done. As, as we're learning, nothing is impossible. Some things just cost more or take a little more time, but but it can be done. Well, what's next for you guys? I mean, at, 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 C, at CSU Devices, this is not what you do, is it? Well, increasingly it is. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're getting some great uh, great trade show experience. We've had ones that we do with uh, firing a Nerf dart machine gun and uh, using high-speed cameras to track those darts and intercept them, and, and now we've done this. And, and after that, you know, we've got some projects lined up, but uh, uh, maybe nothing quite as exciting as this has been. So we'll, yeah. we'll keep looking to the future. Maybe I can borrow the Nerf darts uh, for my staff one day. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and, Drew, how does your group at Intel interface with them, obviously providing the Atom processors and working on those logistical kinds of things, but right. where do you see this sort of concept headed into tomorrow? Well, we have had so much positive feedback. It's unbelievable. So um, we're actually going to try to rope these guys in for a little longer and actually maybe travel around with this thing and cool. you know see what we can do and actually go to a lot of other developer forums because I think you know that value of basically anybody can develop something like this yeah. um, is really out there. And hey, you're using the Atom processors. You know they're quite portable. They are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. So there you go. Ro rope them into traveling around and, yeah. and making it a fun thing. I, I can I can see this not only at other developer conferences but at malls for that matter, and just people oh, yeah. being in awe of what happens here. So if you've not yet seen the video, by all means, do yourself a favor and come to intotomorrow.com. It's on our main page, and a lot of folks have been just commenting about it and saying, wow, it is the animation now in real life, and these guys put it together. You can visit sisudevices.com for more information about what Russ and his team are up to, and, of course, Drew and his team at intel.com slash embedded. Either way, intotomorrow.com will get you to all of our guest sites, and come see the video of all the interviews from this week's show as well. More from the Into Tomorrow and Intel Developer Forum here in San Francisco. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network.